you can now add one or more order bumps to your checkout forms. Here's an example, and I have two order bumps added to this checkout form. An order bump is a guaranteed way to make more money when people check out on your store. So in this case, the buyer lands on this checkout form, and I have two different offers. This one's first one here is to give away something for free, and you can see they'll save 100%. So I'll check that box, and this order bump gets automatically added to the order summary down here. And what's really nice is we also display the scratch price. This is the value of everything they're about to order. You can also have discounted offers here. I'm offering a course that's normally $600. I'm taking 75% off. So when the buyer checks this, it's just absolutely irresistible. You can see that course is added to the checkout down here and you can see the total savings that this buyer is going to have. These order bumps are smart. They are working based on rules. You can do a lot with them. Now, if you want to add order bumps to your SureCard store, these are on our pro plan as well as our business plan. Let me show you how they work. First, I'm gonna click on products because an order bump is essentially a discount that's offered on one of your products. When I click on products, you can see I have two options here, but I want to click on the option here that says order bumps. And when I click on it, you can see I have two order bumps that have already been created. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of them. This is the first one that I offered for 100% off. You can see the product is selected right here. And then right here, I'm choosing when to show this offer. And so I've chosen to show this offer when this product is in a checkout. We have options here. You can see we can show this discounted order bump when all of these items are in the cart, any of these items are in the cart, or none of these items are in the cart. Order bumps with SureCart are smart and they work off conditions and you can have multiple conditions. I can add another condition. As I scroll down, you can see right here that we can choose the discount. So it could be a percentage or it can be a fixed amount and you can enter that number in right here. Then you can choose a name for the order bump, add a custom description and add a custom call to action. You can see I did that in this case. Right here is the custom call to action. Right here is the name and then right here is the description. It's very easy to create one of these order bumps. Then right here, you can give an order bump a priority. This is if you're gonna display more than one order bump on a checkout form. And then we have an additional behavior option here that will automatically apply the discount if the product already happens to be in the checkout. Now let's create an order bump from scratch together. I'll click right here where it says add new. And then we need to choose the product and the specific price that we have for the product. So when I click here, it's going to show all the different products that are in my store and the prices that go along with them. So you will have wanted to already gone ahead and set up your product. So let me just go ahead and choose this membership right here. It's just $299. Let's go with that. I'll click on create. Next, I'll add a display condition. And this is when I want this offered to someone. So when I click on add a condition, I can choose to add a condition based upon a price. So this would be if there's a particular product with a specific price in the checkout, then display it, or it can just be based on the product itself. So I'll go ahead and choose the product. And for the product, I'm gonna choose the Learn SureCart course. That's the product in that checkout form. I'll click on add condition. And like I said, you can add multiple conditions and you can have additional rules. Is this going to be available when this product's in the cart or when this is not going to be in the cart? You have multiple options right here. And then let's go ahead and choose a percentage discount. Usually with an order bump, you, you don't want to have complex products. You want to have a product and an offer in there that is not going to require a lot of thought and it's going to be a very big discount. So for this, I'm going to offer a 95% discount, which is ginormous. And if you don't put in add a name, add a description, or the custom call to action, it's gonna automatically put some values in there for you. So I'll go ahead and click on save order bump. Here I am on that same checkout form. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh it and we are going to see that new order bump appear. 
and you can see here it is right here. Now, the reason it's not showing an image is because this product doesn't have an image associated with it. So you would, in this case, certainly want to add a custom call to action in there as well as probably add the product name or the title of the order bump there, as well as a description, just to get the maximum results. Now, Shortcut is gonna give you even more power because you can place this order bump grid anywhere you want in your checkout form. Let me show you. Here are my list of checkout forms, and I want to put it in a custom location in this checkout form right here. So I'll go ahead and get into the form editor. And you can see I haven't added order bumps to this form. So what's going to happen is by default, those order bumps are going to be inserted right underneath the payment entry block. But you can put it in a custom location very easy. So let's go ahead and click on our block inserter here in the top left. I'll click on the plus and I'm going to choose this option right here that says order bumps and I'll click on it and you can see now the order bump has been added and I can put this anywhere I want. If I want it at the very top, I can just drag and drop it to the top. If I wanted it before the payment field, all I have to do is drag it there and you can see now it's before the payment input field. And when I click on it, we also have some options here. So by default, the label right here says recommended, but you can put any text you want there, such as take advantage of this one time offer. You can say goes great with whatever you want, you can put right there. Then simply click on update and take a look at the form. You can see now it is just above the payment field. Where these placement options get very powerful is when you're using Surecart's two column checkout form layout because you have many places to put the order bump. Order bumps are a guaranteed way for your store to generate more revenue and it's available right now when you're on a Surecart Pro plan or business plan. To upgrade your store, simply visit app dot surecart dot com and log in and you'll see an option there to upgrade your store and make sure you stay tuned here to the channel to keep in the loop with all the exciting updates that we are releasing for surecart thanks for watching